So I recently bought a vacuum chamber from an old lab supplies company on eBay. And this vacuum chamber I thought was great because unlike a lot of vacuum chambers, it's not cylindrical, it's a cube. And it's not made of glass or perspex on all sides, it's mostly fiberglass I think with a glass front. I drilled two holes in the side and I put two pieces of copper wire and sealed them in epoxy. Then I mounted some banana plug sockets on the outside and inside with epoxy just to make it easy to connect and disconnect. Now I've got this connection from the outside to the inside with a positive and negative. I can apply current to anything inside the chamber and this is cool because it lets you heat things remotely. I created a heating element out of nichrome wire and I wrapped it around a piece of tissue soaked in smoke fluid uh, which is also called fog fluid. This is the liquid that you put inside smoke machines which is quite similar to like vape juice. Uh, I sealed the chamber up and I pulled a vacuum on it as low as my vacuum pump would go which is probably around you know a thousand microns in this sort of vacuum chamber and that's a pretty good vacuum. The smoke fluid vaporizes and very clearly demonstrates convection currents but unlike convection currents in the air where there's lots of turbulence these seem to form a kind of laminar flow current with some really interesting spirals. It's not quite laminar flow I would say there is some turbulence in there but it's quite close. It's actually quite hard to capture on video it's got a sort of ghostly translucence to it and the video can't really show that depth. I filled the vacuum chamber with these felt sheets, these black felt sheets to improve the contrast. So it won't always go up and down in a loop, sometimes it did, but other times it would form these sub loops inside. It's very hard to predict what was actually going to happen. It depends on the temperatures, what's happening in terms of the position of the smoke fluid stream and any other obstacles inside the chamber, the temperature of the walls which also produce convection currents. I also taped on some LED lights to the glass front later on and the heat from those actually causes convection currents near the glass as well so you get these streams of fluid uh, emanating from the glass where the heat is warming the, the molecules up. So I thought what would happen if you tried to light a match inside the vacuum? And you might be thinking, well, you can't light a match in a vacuum. You can't burn anything in a vacuum. There's no oxygen. But a match head actually has the oxidizer and the fuel combined together in the match head. The only issue is obviously lighting the match itself. So I wrapped a piece of wire around the match head, a nichrome wire. And you can see here, this is the match being lit without a vacuum being present. So this is just normal atmosphere and you can see how it burns and everyone's seen what this looks like. And this is the same match being lit inside a vacuum. As you can see the element heats the match head up and it ignites but it doesn't burn with a flame like it does in an open atmosphere. The gas that's being produced by the oxidizer and fuel mixture just sprays out in all different directions because there's no gas to bounce off of. You don't get a bubble of hot gas around it. And what this means is the burning can only continue grain to grain inside the match head. So you can see that it slowly travels through, it propagates through the match head and as it does it blasts small parts of the, the match head off and produces smoke at the same time, smoke and gas. Because the heat is so much higher than just the heating element alone, you get this very dramatic convection current coming out and where the match head is burning and spraying this gas out, you see it uh, accelerate the gas out and then it slowly rises up as the, the uh, convection currents take the gas up. Now for the remainder of the video I'm just going to show some 
clips of uh, various different smoke formations that I recorded. So enjoy. Thank you. 